we're going to look at grades. So the one nice thing about you know using the um, grading feature within Google Classroom is that you can move all that stuff to a spreadsheet and that spreadsheet in turn you know once it figures your grades you can put them in PowerSchool. So I'm going to real quickly show you this. Um, I'm just going to click on one of my assignments and this was one of the assignments that we did earlier. Let me just go here. I clicked on one of those. Okay, so all of these students or teachers in this particular case, they were all given 100 on an assignment. So if I were to, and I want, you know, I have two other assignments in there. One is not done. Notice I have these not done. And one over here is upcoming. So right now I only have one assignment. But that's okay. So I go back over. They all have been returned to them. They've received their notifications. The way I did that is once the grades were put in, I would get this little window here and it would give them a return and all this would be returned to them and they'd get the notification that their grades have been input. So now I want to move this stuff to a spreadsheet. So I have this here. I can go and I can either copy all my grades to a Google Sheets or download. We're going to look at both. So if I were to copy to a Google Sheets, all my assignments to this point are going to end up on a spreadsheet. And there they are. So I want to show you what happens when I start putting in assignments here on this side. So say I want to give a couple of these people, and notice it's averaged. So it's already figuring it for me. And you can see what's happening. That's based on the points of 100. Um, if I wanted to go over here and put a 78, once again. So this is very helpful. This in turn, if you needed to, um, you don't really need to. You could just transfer your grades over, but you can download this as a Microsoft Excel. Now, from Google, you can go ahead and do that in what's called a CSV. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to download these grades as a CSV. They are downloading. Let's go ahead and open this. And there they are. So all the grades are here. Here's returned. And here are my comments. If there were other, um, that's for that one assignment. If I were to have all my assignments, I could, it would go all the way across and show me all my different assignments. Right now, I only have one assignment where there are grades. So that is the grading feature within Google Classroom. And if you have multiple grades, your grades would be averaged. I hope that you find this feature very handy.